because you made your Showtime debut uh, just this past summer in July. You get knocked down in the six, and then get up and knock your opponent out in the eighth. It was an exciting fight. What are you going to do for an encore for us this coming Saturday? Oh, well, uh, good afternoon. First, I still say you know, that I don't know what to knock down. Really, it's not down because if the referee say you just knock down and the internet is like knock down, okay, no worries, my first knock down. But I believe I've lost the value in this moment and I, and I know to, I how to get the controls. I learned this in this fight. Now, uh, I'm so excited and so focused for this fight. And, and I know that I will, I will be still shining, you know, just waiting, working hard. And, and I know that this guy is experienced, 24, 24 fights, one loss. Uh, for me, he win this, this law of the habit. But I know that I would say it is, is he is in my way. Okay, then I will get in this and I will follow to look the big fight. I will be the king in 135. Mikey, Matias, uh, last time we had you on Showtime in March, you were facing a big puncher in Isak Cruz. You lost your first professional loss in a close uh, decision. What did you learn from that fight? to make sure you don't make that same mistake this Saturday against a hard puncher like Michelle Rivera. This time I'm, I'm way better prepared than the last time. Uh, I learned how to be on hostile grounds. I learned a lot, a lot from that. And now this time I'm better prepared. You use movement in your last fight. Do you see yourself engaging more in this fight against Rivera? Eh, sí, yo creo que para esa pelea tuve un plan, pero con un campamento muy corto. Y para esta pelea, bueno, hay diferentes planes y estoy mejor entrenado, así yo creo que va a ser otra cosa esta pelea y va a ser mucho mejor. Yes, of course, of course, Brian, but I had a very short camp for the other one. I was prepared, uh, I prepared as good as I could for that, for the short of time. But for this one, I had a longer camp, better, uh, better timing for prepare for this fight, so it's gonna be different. Well, you heard him. He said this fight's gonna be different. He's had a long time to prepare for you, Michelle. Um, he's gonna engage. Will this fight go the distance, in your opinion? Oh. Well, first, I remember, thank you, Hayden, thank you, Showtime, thank you, Samsung, and oh. Life Train for supporting me. Uh, but, well, what they can tell me, he's a guy with experience. I'll tell you, and I'm not ready for, uh, I have heavy hands, but, I have condition for 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 10, 12 rounds. It's ten rounds. But I'm ready for fifty rounds if you want to fight. And I'm with whoever since for a week. And I'm not that we win that short. That is, I think I know the level that him. Everybody knows this, and everybody will know this Saturday night is on Showtime. That is uh, is I will be the the face of boxing. Everybody will see the reincarnation of Muhammad Ali. <laughs> 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 reincarnation of Muhammad Ali. I love it. That's great. Of course, that's going to open a number of times. Uh, I look at your resume. You fought on your resume, I think, five world champions. Now you're taking on a fighter, a young fighter who's not only uh, unbeaten, has this 17 fight knockout streak. And according to the boxing experts, has never lost a round in his career and hasn't gone past the sixth round. You tell us, will you be the first guy to test Jerron Ennis on Saturday? Yo quiero darle la gracia a toda la prensa que vino hoy aquí a apoyar esta cartelera, a Heyman, a Raya Fulton, a todo mi equipo, a Sala que no está aquí, y... I want to thank first 
everyone, all of you guys, all the press, Al Heyman, uh, Salas, and everyone that's been involved for me to get here, and I'm ready. Eh, respondiendo a tu pregunta, mira, uh, a veces no sea no se trata de tanta fuerza, sino de técnica y, y, y de quién va a ser más inteligente dentro del ring. Yo he estado dentro del ring con los mejores y yo pienso que yo tengo bastante experiencia para empujar a, a Ennis y es un gran peleador, lo tienen como uno de los mejores y yo siempre estoy listo para pelear con los mejores. Well, to answer your question, not all the time in boxing you need strength to overcome whatever obstacles in front of you and you need experience and you need technique and I, I believe I have that and I think I'm going to come out on top because I have all of that. I have fought with all the best, I spar with all the best, so I'm going to plan that in my fight. Drop. He says experience is the best teacher and he's got it on his side. You tell me what do you have that you can not only beat, but possibly stop Thomas DeLorme. He's going to introduce Vaughn, so. Uh, uh, I want everybody coming out. I uh, think Showtime, uh, my team, Cameron Duncan, my dad, you know. But uh, he said experience. I've been boxing all my life. I've been boxing since I was in the jumper. I couldn't even walk. So I've been a smart professional a fighter since I was about 12 years old. I've been doing this all my life. This ain't nothing new to me. And he's going to see on uh, Saturday night, you know. Y'all know why. <laughs> I remember the last time we saw you boots and you were taking on Sergey Lipinets and you were excited for that fight because you said, hey man, finally I get me a, a former world champion and I can show the world. Um, what do you think you can show the boxing public, you can show the welterweight division uh, Saturday night fighting a fighter of Thomas DeLorme caliber? Uh, just, I'm gonna continue to keep doing what I've been doing. And that's one of the dominating fashion and you know, putting on beautiful performances. And like I, like, like I always see before, you know my suit, I'm in and out like a robbery. <laughs> uh, Thomas, you know, when, when I look at uh, your resume, you look, look at, let's say, the last five fights. One in four in those fights, you fought some top comp, uh, competition. Tell us why Saturday will be different. El sábado va a ser diferente porque voy a enfrentar a un peleador diferente y estamos bien enfocados, queremos regresar a, a lo más alto de, de, del negocio y es ganándole a Ennis. Well, Saturday is going to be different, obviamente, because he is a different fighter. But we're gonna, we've been training and we're going to climb up to the elite and to be top of the world again. What do you think of Boots as a fighter? Certainly gotten a lot of hype, and deservedly so, with the performances that he's put on uh, thus far. What do you think about him as a fighter? Yo pienso que Ennis es un buen peleador. Él tiene buen estilo, está rápido, pero yo pienso que él todavía no, no ha enfrentado a nadie. Él, no, él, él, él siempre ha peleado cerca de su casa y él todavía no ha enfrentado a nada. Peleó con Lipinés un 140, y yo pienso que eso no fue una una verdadera ganada a alguien en la 147, un verdadero 147. I think Boots is a good fighter. Uh, he's looking good, he's coming out good. His best win is against Sergio Lepinets, which is a 140. And he, he looked good on it, but I don't think he has the experience yet to confront somebody like me. Boots, give you the final word on here. Um, seems to think He's got the experience, and Lipinets was a good win, but smaller guy. Now you're fighting a, a legitimate welterweight, in his opinion. Um, your thoughts, and what can you guarantee that we'll, we'll get on Saturday night? Uh, he keeps saying uh, experience. Like I said before, I've been boxing all my life. This ain't nothing new to me. That's why it's regular to me. But on Saturday night, you have to expect fireworks. You're going to put on a beautiful show. You know, uh, looking good and come off victorious and, you know, and knock out Ben. Mm -hmm. Knockout streak continues Saturday? Uh, we're not going to look for it. We're going to let it come, come naturally, but it's going to come. I'm going to be a speaker with a fight song, which is higher than you, and which has won many times now as a champion. Tell me why you think that you can win the Kubota. 
и забрать этот тюбик. У меня большой опыт, у меня большой любительский опыт, я провел кучу боев и с высокими, и с низкими, с разными бойцами. И я верю в свои силы, я верю в свою команду, я уверен, что я готов к большим боям и в субботу я об этом так говорю. Um, I've had a lot of experience in amateurs. I've had a lot of experience in the pros. I believe in myself. I believe in my experience that I've had. I believe in my team. Uh, we've had a very good camp. Everything went as planned. And uh, on Saturday, I plan to prove uh, that I'm the, the, the champion in this division. Uh, Raja, let me ask you this. He's got the height advantage, reach advantage. What do you believe will be the difference in this fight? Учитывая, что у него длиннее руки и выше рост. В чем ты думаешь э, будет твое преимущество? В чем будет э, разница? У любого бойца может быть э, удар сильнее меня, руки длиннее меня, скорость выше, выше моей. Но воли победы я уверен, что нет ни одного бойца как у меня. I believe that now, you know, everything that I've been through and, and where we are today, um, every fighter has an advantage. You know, somebody, somebody's quicker, somebody has more experience, somebody's taller. But I think the, the, at this point, the most important is the will to victory. And I believe in, in my will to victory at this point. And I, I think it's at the highest level. And I believe nothing can stop me now. Jamal, let's come to you now. Again, 27 and 1. 12 of his victories have come by knockout. Uh, Rajat gave an interview to the boxing scene. And one of the things he talked about was his power and aggression being the key in this fight. Um, in your opinion, what will be the difference in this fight, Jamal? Uh, first, I would like to say good afternoon, everybody. Hey, Thank you, you all for coming. <laughs> Wanted to cut on? attention real quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, you said what will be the difference in this fight? Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, from top level. You know, everybody up here at the stage is top level fighters. We're gonna come and give our very best. Uh, I mean, when you say the difference, you mean the difference from me to win? Absolutely. Um, the difference that I need to win this fight is to make sure I hit him more than he hits me. <laughs> so that's my main focus. And if possible, I'll try not to get hit at all. But you know, it is boxing, so we'll see. He's talked a lot about his power and believing that his power will be too much for you. What's your response to that? Uh, if you can hit me. I mean, you know, at this level, everybody hits hard. You know what I mean? I'm not fighting, you know, we're not fighting cupcakes no more at this level. Every opponent you get in the ring with, with them eight ounce gloves on, if they catch you, it's gonna hurt. So, you know, make sure you keep your hands up, chin down. And try your best not to get hit. I mean, um, I've been in there with guys who hit extremely hard and have beat them, you know, so it ain't nothing new to me. I think this fight is interesting, Jamal, for the simple fact the welterweight division, you know, we like to call it the glamour division because you have big names at the top of the division and it's a deep division filled with talent. But there seems to be a hierarchy. There seems to be a, a, a hierarchy of, they call the elites, where you have the Errol Spence, the Sean Porters, the Terrence Crawfords, the Danny Garcia's, names like that. And then they say there's another level. And they may mention a Jamal James and, and, and other fighters, uh, Butaya. This opportunity Saturday seems to be an opportunity for Jamal James to say, listen, I'm at the elite. How do you see this? Uh, exactly how you say it. You know what I mean? We're here in Vegas, headlining on Showtime. Uh, you know, it is time for me to let people know that I've been at this level and should be able to get the opportunities that those guys get, have been given and have gotten. You know what I mean? And that's not to take nothing away from them guys, but like you just said, man, we're the welterweight division is stacked. You know what I mean? We got a, a, a bunch of great talent, and it's time for some new guys to get their name up there and to be able to make these, you know, bigger money fights, bigger name fights. And we'll wrap it up with this. We're trying to crown one champion for the WBA. 
And there's another guy by your Dennis Ugas. Yeah, let's who, run it back. Who's already said, yeah, I'm the champion. The, the, don't even mention Jamal James. I'm the guy. So I guess what's your message to your Dennis Ugas, especially for this fight? Well, first, I'm not going to overlook my opponent over here, first and foremost. So I got to get past this fight first. Mm -hmm. But um, God willing, I am victorious in this fight. And my message is that we need to run that back. You know what I mean? He had a great win over Pacquiao. He's a, he's a great fighter. Uh, when I competed against him, I didn't have a full camp. You know, it was a very short notice fight. Uh, I don't like to talk about that much because I don't like to sound like I'm making excuses. He was a better man that, month, that night, obviously. But I think when we both have full camps, that it could definitely be a different story. But you know, let me let me get past my guy over here first. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and got to ask you this because you know some have written about it. They've said, "Hey, look, Jamal James is victorious on Saturday. If Jerron Ennis is victorious on Saturday, why not those two get it on?" What did Jamal James say about that? Hey, compliments to Jerron Ennis, man. He's been making a great name for himself, and I'm not. And, and, and I'm definitely down to give this brother uh, an opportunity. Um, my thing is, like you stated before, they have still yet to put me at the top. And right now we got two champions at the WBA welterweight division, which kind of don't make sense to me. So my focus is to get past this fight here, and then I would like to fight Uga so we can eliminate these two. You know what I mean? There should be one WBA welterweight champion. And then, you know, when you, I am that one welterweight WBA champion, and cats were making names like Ennis over here or some other guys, um, I'm, not, I'm not ducking nobody. You know, I'd be down to give these cats an opportunity. I uh, obviously talked to my management, Al Heyman. He's been making great opportunities for me. He's been paving the way for me, and as well as a lot of other guys. Um, so whatever they say, I'm pretty much, pretty much going to roll with. But I... I definitely see that. Uh, Enjoy the video. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars and title betting shows. The list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, or promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.